Todd Tucker, you one cheap ass, ho ass bitch. Let's talk about it. Tonight, it's your boy Hampton Spears. I'm back with another video. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing The Real Housewives of Atlanta, Season 14, Episode 12, Trust Planning Issues. Okay, let me just say this. Todd Tucker! Todd Tucker, you are real stingy with Candy's money. Bitch, production played you for motherfucking filth. When they showed the assets that you two have together, which was only restaurants and real estate, and all the stuff that Candy had before the marriage, and all the shit you got, which is a New Jersey townhouse. Bitch, you ain't shit. And then you got the nerve to be like, oh, I don't want to give the two girls all the money because I don't think they, they spoil and they don't need to work for it. Bitch, they, fuck you, Todd. Fuck you for that bullshit. I hate people like that. I just want to make people suffer all the time. I feel like it's just like, you suffering. Shit, that's Candy's money. Candy clearly want to give it to him. That's her money. Give it to him. And I'm happy that Candy um and Todd came to an agreement and Candy's just going to give him their shit all wrapped up in her contract and he ain't got nothing to do with it, old cheap ass motherfucker. Anyway, child, so uh, Sandy and them uh, doing the couple trip thing. Um, she telling all the girls... And, you know, she's really adamant that it's a couple's trip. A couple's trip, okay? She's mentioned that many, many times, even on the last episode. I'm like, okay, girl, we get it, we get it. Well, she decides to take her masculine, big forehead, having ass on the FaceTime to tell Kenya, not once, but two times, it's a couple's trip, it's a couple's trip. And Kenya fucking hung up the phone in that bitch's face. She said, girl, bye. Bitch, why are you doing that? No, she clearly it just got divorced. She's single. She could like come on now, and you're being like couples check. Cu like I really hate people that do that. And you know what? I really think they be knowing what the fuck they doing. They be like what? This is that trying to make you feel bad? Bitch, yes you are. You know people are single when you say bring a couple and you ain't got one. Bitch, you know what the fuck you doing? Oh raggedy ass heifer, get a forehead reduction, bitch. Wigs look at all backed up all the way to here. Bitch, you ain't shit. Fuck you, Sonya. Um. Sheree, you working on your fashion show? Good luck. Uh, good luck. Good, uh, like, good luck to you. Like, I just, you know, good for you. Um, you know, you have delusions of grandeur. I hope it works out this time. You want your son to be the model. He's tall as fuck. He could bottle, I guess, honey, I guess. Oh, wait, um, when we get to the party thing, what you did to Drew, I understand why Drew is upset with Sheree. Because, like, listen, like, you literally brought this girl around to Loom. Like, you knew what the fuck was going on. Like, y'all didn't have a side conversation about what was going to happen before the cameras got around. Like, get the fuck out of here. Sheree, you knew what, that, you knew what was up, and Drew is right to side-eye you. And Drew, why did you sing happy birthday? Like, why did you sing happy birthday? Like, that's stupid. Like, I wouldn't want a bitch that I just argue with to sing happy birthday to me. But even though it sounded nice, but... I'm just like, okay, whatever. Uh, I love the blonde wig, Drew. I love the blonde wig. Oh, going back to the beginning of the episode, um, Marlo meets with that fine-ass therapist, the Christian therapist. I'm having very unchristian thoughts. Looking at that dude, that was a fine therapist, okay? Um, oh, so back to the main party at the end. Um, so Kenya and... Um, Sanya have a, a talk. Sanya's like, well, why did you hang up on me? Da, 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 da. And then Kenya's like, you just kept, kept pushing, 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 pushing. The couple's thing, like, da, 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 da. And I guess they come to an understanding, but they end up going to be fighting on the next episode, child. So the understanding clearly don't be lasting long. Sanya's party was ghetto. Um, nothing was working. Um, child, you need to get your shit together if you're going to roll with this clique, honey, because these are some bougie-ass bitches, okay? And that's really about all that happened this episode. I'm really looking forward to next week's episode. Um, there seems to be drama, and I think Sanya gonna get read her rights, honey, and she need to. I, I really want her off the show. <laughs> I hope she's a one-season wonder. I really do. Anyway, y'all, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell button if you have not already done so. And I'll see you on the next what? The next video.